Well, hey everybody, what's happening? It's Mr. Thompson with a video math lesson. Today we're talking about length and perimeter, okay, which is a measure of length, as we'll see. Um, pretty simple stuff here, but there's a few things you got to know about, a few particulars here. So let's get right to it. When it comes to length, we're not going to talk much about calculating length. Hopefully that's pretty, pretty easy. Um, <clears throat> but um, one thing we do need to know about is the units for length and converting between units. So in the metric system, the most common units you'll run into are kilometers, meters, centimeters, and millimeters. Okay, And we're going to talk about converting back and forth between these, and we'll start uh, by talking about, um, the, about converting from kilometers to meters, and meters to centimeters, and centimeters to millimeters. So in that direction, starting with a large measure and getting to a smaller one. Um, now since there's many meters in a kilometer, right, that number's going to go up, right? Uh, one kilometer is a thousand meters, so for every kilometer there's a thousand meters. So when we go um, in this direction, right, then our number's going to get bigger and we're going to be multiplying, right? Whatever number we had for kilometers, we're going to multiply it to get the number of meters. And we multiply by however many there is in each thing. So there's a thousand meters in a uh, kilometer, so we multiply by a thousand for that one. There are 100 centimeters in a meter, okay, so we multiply by 100, and there are 10 millimeters in every centimeter, so we multiply by 10. To go from centimeters to millimeters, we multiply by 10, okay? Now, we can go back. If we had something in millimeters and we wanted to um, put it in centimeters, we could um, go back that direction, and in order to do that, we just need to divide, right? The number's getting smaller. We're going to divide Okay, and for all these ones, we're, we're going to divide for each one of those going that direction, right, from centimeters to meters and, and so on. And we divide by the exact same numbers that we would have multiplied by going in the other direction, right? So let's look at an example. If we have five meters, let's figure out what that is in centimeters, millimeters, and also in kilometers, all right? To get it in centimeters, from meters to centimeters, going this direction, uh, we're going to multiply by 100, right? So we'll have the 5, and to multiply by 100, we just add two zeros, right? We basically move the decimal place two points, two, two places, right, to the right. Multiply by 100, so 500 centimeters, right? To find out in millimeters, we're going to multiply the centimeters by 10, so we'd simply just add another zero, so 5,000 millimeters, right? To go from meters two kilometers, we're going to divide the five by a thousand. So I'll have my five. I've got my decimal point. My decimal point this is 5.0, right? Five right there. And I'm going to move it three places. One, two, three. And put my decimal point there, okay? Fill those two blank spots in with zeros. And, my, and I have 0 0.005 kilometers. Okay? Pretty easy, right? Okay. So that's length and perimeter. So, um, uh, sorry, that's length. Let's talk about perimeter, right? The perimeter of an object is the sum of all its uh, sides. So the sum of the sides, of all the sides of a shape, right? That's what the perimeter is. Um, so people like to say distance around a shape, but that's a little bit vague if you ask me, because um, you're not. we're talking about the actual sides. If you're walking right along the sides, um, or you know, running your finger along the edges of a shape, how far would that be? Um, so uh, if we look at um, shape, it's just uh, here we have a rectangle with uh, one side of six and one side of nine. Um, now we don't have the um, lengths of these sides here, right? Well, if I knew that this was a rectangle, then I would know that these two sides are the same, which makes this a six. And these two sides are the same, which makes this a 9. I don't necessarily have that information. It doesn't say that this is a rectangle. Sure, it looks like a rectangle. It doesn't say that we have 90 degree angles here or anything like that. But um, sometimes you get um, some little marks. So we're going to find the perimeter. Sometimes we have some little marks, like these green marks here. And there's a single mark, a single sort of notch um, or line on each of these sides. That means that these two sides are the same. So even if I didn't know that this was a rectangle, I know that these two sides are the same. Okay, and likewise, there's 
two marks here and two marks there, which means these two sides are the same, okay? So since this one is six, that one over there is six because of the marks. And since this one is nine, that one is nine as well, because of the marks, okay? So sides with the same markings are equal lengths, okay? So here we just have six plus nine plus six plus nine. We add them all up, and we get um, 30, of course. And uh, so that's the perimeter. And uh, that's really all there is to it. Sometimes you might be given um, the perimeter, right? And asked to find one of the side lengths, right? So if you didn't, if they didn't say that this was nine, you know, you'd have plus x plus x, um, and you'd have to combine like terms and subtract and solve for the x and um, and find it that way. But that's pretty much all there is to it for a perimeter. All right. So good luck and see you next time.